Hello everyone, my name is Manjunatha and uh, it's good to be back after a few weeks of break. I was not able to upload any video but I am uploading shorts so I hope you have enjoyed it. In this video, I am going to talk about AI and uh, more specifically, I am going to talk about uh, how you can make better use of AI in your coding. First point I would like to make in this particular video is uh, AI is getting really popular and we are getting news related to AI from literally all the big companies uh, every few weeks uh, or so. Because of this, uh, there is lots of opportunity for us to use AI in uh, our coding field. One of the important opportunity for us as a coder is uh, asking this LLM. LLM means large language model. Uh, that means uh, this chat GPT and uh, even uh, Bing bot uh, as well as uh, Gemini or whatever the AI which uh, other companies are doing. Uh, so you can ask it uh, what kind of uh, language I need to use in order to do certain things. For example, if you are new to coding uh, and you don't know how to do certain things, uh, maybe to build a backend with certain things, uh, you can literally ask that particular chat prompt uh, saying, uh, how can I do certain things uh, using certain way? And it's going to give you guide uh, saying like you need to do this thing uh, first, uh, then after that another thing. Uh, and it's going to give you detailed explanation. You can even ask it a uh, follow up question like uh, why that technology is used uh, is there any alternative for it and it's going to answer a uh, lots of uh, things and most of the time this answer will be correct but don't take it on face value that if it is saying certain things uh, don't think it's a universal truth uh, because if you ask another question or cross question it uh, immediately it's going to tell you that uh, yes you are correct i was wrong so obviously you can't trust it clearly understand that it's just for understanding you and helping you in better way don't just agree to whatever it's telling try to do your own research and ask a few human beings also another thing is you can use github copilot in your vs code and it lets you auto complete your code so let's say that you are coding certain things maybe a function or a loop and immediately it's going to give you some kind of coding template uh, which you can use uh, and most of the time this template will be based on whatever the code you previously used uh, or whatever the code which uh, is being used uh, throughout the industry properly for example if you want to swap two numbers uh, if you start with certain code uh, immediately it's going to give you template uh, saying like uh, you can do certain things uh, that is temp is equal to a, a is equal to b and b is equal to temp uh, usual way to swap number if you learnt it in your coding classes you'll know it uh, so it's going to give you that auto completion or it is even used in certain functions let's say that you want to add two numbers and then immediately if you type add two numbers in the comment or something like that it's going to give you options i have personally not used it but i have seen my friends use it either way i don't like to use certain things for my coding related projects but you can use it and same goes for this also like don't take it on face value try to understand the code whatever it wrote and try to do research search on it and execute it and try to understand it properly because if you just trust it on face value it might not work properly so try to do your own research and debug it properly before using it another option is to use this kind of chatbot for solving the errors let's say that you are getting certain errors and you can copy that particular thing and you can ask this gemini or i usually use gemini so you can ask the gemini like how to solve this particular error and it's going to give you certain context uh, and uh, it will help you to solve the error this i feel uh, is more better way of uh, learning to code uh, because you learn to code by seeing some kind of documentation or youtube channel or some kind of tutorial uh, and if you get certain errors uh, then you go to chat gpt or uh, even gemini and ask it the question and when it's going to give you the answer uh, you read it properly then you try to solve the whatever the problem which you are facing in the first place uh, so using this method you are going to learn a uh, lots of things uh, like uh, instead of searching it hundreds of time in the google uh, which we used to do whenever we used to code uh, pre-ai era and uh, it used to be taking lots of time but using this chat prompt you can easily find a solution for whatever the problem which you are facing and you can get the answer easily so it's better for solving the errors sometimes it might not work but most of the time it's going to work i'm going to give 
really good uh, opinion on this particular thing as always uh, if it's any kind of code related things uh, try to understand it then implement it uh, don't directly copy paste it last point i would like to make in this particular video is uh, will ai is going to replace you probably not uh, because uh, ai is giving more and more opportunity for you to improve your skills and uh, use it in your day-to-day -day workflow because AI almost took all the data in the world available uh, and uh, still it's not able to do much uh, things. Uh. So all the big tech companies are figuring out how to do it uh, in the sense like how to make AI even more powerful uh, that is going to replace literally you. But uh, at the moment it's not happening. Uh. So many great programmers uh, just say that uh, just wait and see for uh, five to ten years uh. then we'll actually get to know whether AI is going to remove you from the job or not until then you can use AI with your project and uh, try to become a better developer and uh, once you become a better developer you don't have to get uh, scared about AI because you can become anything you want uh, once you are uh, familiar with how to learn certain things uh, and uh, how to use it so that's it for this video guys uh, and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you didn't already see you in the next video bye bye